Hi everybody, Dan Ullman along with Nicole Russo. Welcome to the DRF Breeding Report. Last week there were three major Kentucky Derby prep races. Nicole, let's go back to the more controversial of the three perhaps, the San Felipe Stakes, the disqualification of McKenzie. McKenzie, of course, down towards the inside. That's Bolt Dioro on the outside. They bumped at the top of the stretch. They bumped in late stretch. McKenzie finished first, but was disqualified and placed second. Bolt Dioro, another graded stakes win. And what a weekend for Bolt Dioro's sire, Medallia Dioro. Yeah, Medallia Dioro also has enticed out there, who I think, who of course we'll get to in a minute. Medallia Doro's son, Violence, doing very well with his first crop with a couple of Derby and Oaks prospects out there. And Medallia Doro, really, a, really a source of stamina. Last year, he had, I believe, six grade one winners at route distances. The only one of his grade one wins that did not come around two turns was, was of course, R of gold uh, in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint, and even she was a stakes winner at a mile and a 16th earlier in her campaign. Uh, Medallia Doro, also the sire of Kentucky Oaks winner and Preakness winner Rachel Alexandra, another Oaks winner and Plum Pretty. Really a, a stamina source who's really come alive with his two-year-olds into three-year-olds this spring. And Bolt Doro, you know, regardless of the DQ, regardless of the finish p position, I thought that this was going to be, this was a very good effort for him coming off the bench and after having his three-year-old debut delayed, asked to go two turns in his three-year-old debut off the layoff. And he was really, really game down the stretch. I, th I thought it, I thought it was an encouraging effort, obviously, by both horses, but especially so considering his circumstances. Right, I agree 100%, and you could argue he might even be tighter next time out, presumably in the Santa Anita Derby, uh, by Medallia Dioro, standing for a quarter of a million dollars stud fee this year at Darley, Kentucky. You mentioned Plum Pretty. Plum Pretty also out of an AP Indy mare, so this cross has done very well. Medallia Dioro with AP Indy mares. It's also produced the stout grade one turf winner Dickinson, and both Dioro's young dam has already thrown a Classy runner prior to Bolt Dioro. That's his half brother, Sonic Mule, a multiple stakes winner, a uh, stakes winner at six furlongs, a stakes winner at a mile. Sonic Mule, I believe, won an optional claiming race on Friday. Uh, the dam's a three quarter to uh, a nice stakes winning route horse from a Claiborne line, Passport, who won at a mile and a 16th. And this second dam also provides a lot of class. A three time grade three stakes winner, winning at distances from seven furlongs and a mile and a 16th. So a lot of middle distance ability in the immediate female family, but with Medallia Dioro. Yoro on top, you've got to think that the stamina is there for a legitimate uh, Kentucky Derby pedigree. Yeah, I think so. Looking at this female family, it is slanted toward middle distances, about that mile and a mile and a 16th close up. Further back, it gets into a bit of a bit of a sprint family. Uh, the damn Globetrot is out of trip. That multiple grade one winner at a, a grade three winner, I'm sorry, at a mile and a 16th. Trip's next three dams, all stakes winning sprinters. This is the family of a sensational recruiting ready. Uh, but you know, up front, it is a middle distance family, obviously bolstered by a stamina influencing sire. I think it's a solid page that'll serve him while moving forward. Let's move to the Gotham and we'll take them down the stretch in New York for a major prep race prior to the Wood Memorial, prior to the Kentucky Derby. Enticed is chasing 35 to one long shot old time revival, of course, enticed in the familiar Godolphin silks. And I really like the way enticed came and got this horse. If you want to talk about pedigree, of course, he's by Medallia Dioro. But his damn it's tricky was a serious racehorse who wanted to go longer distances. Yeah, very much so. And you know, it's tricky ran in an outstanding group. I I think of three year old fillies. She ran in the same year as Plum Pretty. She knocked heads with Royal Delta, that wonderful champion. And it's tricky was off to a solid start in her broodmare career. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. She died of falling complications a couple of years back. Enticed will be one of her only runners. And man, what a runner! And stamina on top and on bottom. Another son of Medallia Doro. And it's it's tricky who wanted to go longer by Mineshaft, who's by AP Indy. So again, another another slant on that successful cross. An enticed second dam catboat by Tail of the Cat was a grade three stakes winner on dirt going a mile and an eighth. So certainly a stout pedigree for Enticed, a horse that has already passed the two-turn test. The Gotham, of course, a one-turn mile in New York, but Enticed won the grade two Kentucky Jockey Club last year at a mile and a sixteenth. So it looks like he is trending the right way for Kieran McLaughlin. And again, from a pedigree standpoint, there shouldn't be too many worries for the Godolphin Colt. 
No, not at all. It's, it's again, a really strong pedigree, I think, on both top and bottom. Uh, you know, I, again, it's a, it's a cross that's worked. He has that grade two win at Churchill Downs around two turns, as you mentioned. And really, the the class of the New York horses, I think, this year, that, that group of horses prepping up there is, I think, a little suspect. Enticed, maybe going to fly under the radar a little bit into Kentucky as he progresses forward. But he's doing everything he's been asked to do. And I love his stride. I love the way he was moving down the stretch there in the Gotham. And th this is a serious horse. The biggest upset from last week's three major Kentucky Derby preps came down in Florida at Tampa Bay Downs. We're going to turn into the stretch. Quip making his three-year-old debut is tracking World of Trouble, the stretch out sprinter that was trying to stretch his ability around two turns. Quip was right on top of World of Trouble, sunk his teeth into World of Trouble's neck, and he's able to hold off the talented flame away. A really promising start to his three-year-old season, a 94 buyer. Yeah, a, a really promising uh, step here for this son of distorted humor. And the, the trainer name, Rudy Brissett, there may not be as familiar to, to some people. He just went out on his own last year, former assistant to Bill Ma. And man, this guy is a horseman. Uh, I watched him gallop horses for Bill Ma for years. Some quirky horses, some difficult horses. Uh, Harmonize comes to mind. She was constantly a handful. And you can tell a lot about somebody by the way they handle a horse like that and he was so good and such a sympathetic rider and so good at getting into those horses heads and he's really gotten off to a flying start in his solo training career quip is a great example don't count this guy out had this one ready obviously to to go two turns and to run so well in his three-year-old debut the horse is three for four lifetime He's by Distorted Humor, who's already thrown a couple of classic winners, obviously, in, uh, you know, Funny Side and Drosselmeyer. And this is the immediate female family of Normandy Invasion, who, it's funny that that horse never won a stake because it seemed like he was around knocking on, at, on the door so many times, second in the Wood Memorial in his three-year-old season. So definitely some two-turn ability in that immediate female family. Normandy Invasion also fourth in the Kentucky Derby, and he made a very strong run to the lead, turning into the stretch of the Derby over a wet track before faltering to finish fourth. Uh, distorted humor stands for $50,000 at Windstar, Kentucky. Certainly a step in the right direction in his three-year old debut. When you look at this source, already two wins around two turns, yet to go past a mile and a sixteenth. Obviously, the waters get deeper for all of these three-year-olds in their final round of preps. How do you feel about Quip's uh, ultimate ability to maybe get that mile and a quarter? I, I feel pretty good. As we said, you know, distorted humor. I think sometimes we think more of his, you know, one-turn sort of horses. Uh, of course, he's had some very good sprinters out there, but he is a multiple classic sire. Uh, the dam was a later developing horse by Indian Charlie, who's a wonderful athletic horse who really throws athletic types. I see some stamina further back in the family. Uh, this horse, you know, we're, we're getting some foundation into him now. As you mentioned, he's got those couple of wins around two turns. I'll be very interested to see if he continues to move forward in his next start. He was certainly tight for his three-year-old debut. Three impressive prep races last week with some fast buyer speed figures. Poltiaro got a 101 and playing place first via disqualification. Enticed a 95 in the Gotham, Quip a 94 in the Tampa Bay Derby. Next week, we'll cover two more Kentucky Derby preps. Of course, it's the Rebel at Oaklawn, and then Nicole and I will dig into the Jeff Ruby stakes at Turfway Park. We'll see you then.